now we will check uh, how to adjust one invoice with other let's say other invoice return return or a credit note it is like a customer buys something from your company sales invoice that is thousands okay now he make a payment that's also a thousand this i'm making it simple because it can be multiple payment and that type of things and then he returns thousands that also can be 500 or 200 or something now next day he comes and make another sales invoice that is 500 let's say or 400 because to avoid the confusion of this then he will tell you to adjust payment of 400 because you he or he you already owe him a thousand right because he returned the invoice but he didn't return the you didn't return the payment so he will say adjust first second invoice with first this is very normal situation uh it happens everywhere so how we do that i'll just go to uh on the on this one on the sales invoice i'll put for this customer uh turkish restaurant and i will make something like bread so how many bread 500 bread so it will be thousand and i will remove the taxes because uh, just uh, it doesn't make any difference if you have taxes there but it's just for making it it's simple i'm just submitting it so and if you go to the customer oh, before that on the sales invoice it will show unpaid so this invoice is unpaid it's just like that so on the customer if you go to the customer and take account receivable it will say okay this guy has to give you thousands thousand and his outstanding balance is thousands all right and if you take the accounting ledger also it will say okay this is this there is a balance of thousand reals from turkish restaurant so that is that's how it works now I'll go to say the same sales invoice and make the payments. Make the payment. I'll make the full payment again for the simplicity sake. I'll make payment. Mode of payment, I'll make cash. Uh, it can be bank or anything. So this invoice number is 133. Just remember this because this is the invoice number that we are going to adjust in the later stage. So here, I just make it submit. And what happens here? On the account receivable side, it is nothing. So it's cleared. And on the accounting ledger also, there is no outstanding from this customer. So it's uh, you can see it, balance amount is zero. Now, he come back the next day and say i want to return this so the sales same sales invoice the invoice number is one three three this is one uh we are going to return it return okay A full amount i am going to return again for the sales take of simplicity i returned Now the if you go back to that customer now after after submitting the return invoice, if you look at here on the account receivable, you will see thousand invoice amount thousand and the outstanding. If you check it here on the outstanding side, you will see minus. Okay, this minus means that your company has to give him thousand now, and in the account ledger also you will see 
a minus sign here. So you have to give him thousand. So next day he come back and ask now it is the status changed to credit not issued. Okay. Now I go back to create another invoice next day for the same Turkish restaurant, but this time for something. It can be same amount, but I'm just putting it like I'm putting it for it's for 500 now. Uh, again, I'm removing taxes. Taxes, okay. Now I save and submit. So here, now actually what happens here, you can see it here unpaid. It's it's unpaid now, right? It's unpaid. It actually, he we have his money, 1000 real. We already have it. So if you check it on the account receivable, it's still showing here both invoices. I mean, this is in, in the minus field and this is 500. 500 it should not show there. So we need to make an adjustment. If you look at the ledger, it will say, we have to give him 500. Actually, he, he has nothing to give us actually because it's he don't owe anything to us. So what I'm going to do now, this is the part. So I will take journal entry and put this party type customer Turkish restaurant and put 500 on the credit again same 500 on the debit but this is just a beginning so on the credit we have to say because it's the same customer there will be enough financial transaction because it's uh it's both are same in the accounting ledger it's just a, just for making an adjustment so the amount in the credit has to go for this number that is 135 135 so you can see it here this amount has to go and the amount coming from 133 so put debit side 133 and credit side 135 okay so this is the credit side so it is 135 so here go to reference in the down uh, and put here 135 135 and on the debit side on the debit side again go here reference and put here 133 so this is again whichever the invoice you need to adjust into it will go to credit whichever oh here not 1500 um, so whichever the invoice is adjusting from it will go to the debit side again on the on the credit side it is the down sales invoice 135 and this 135 is the here you can see it's 135 this 135 is the the one we are going to adjust okay now i am just saving this I saved and I'm just submitting this. Okay, I, I submitted that. Now what happens? Now if you go to the sales invoice list, it was unpaid and I'm refreshing this. Now you can see this 135 is paid. Other one is same. Uh, so this 135 invoice is paid and if you are looking into the the customer account receivable you will not see the the 500 one this 1000 it will be i mean the the old invoice it is still 500 we have to give him that when he come with another invoice we can adjust it again so the second invoice it's not showing there and on the accounting ledger there will be no significant difference because it's a uh, 
500 real we have to give him so for the for for the clarity i will i will just make one more invoice for the same customer for the same customer and i'll just make it again and i'll remove the tax save and here again i'm coming back to invoice and making a ledger that we need to credit into 1236 from 133 so all all it will be cleared so i'll just make a journal entry again uh So this time also it's 500 and here also 500 and here it is going to 136 from 133. So I'll put credit. One three six. from 133 the reference type this same type of adjustment you can take do for so many things like purchase invoice and sales or in so many things so i'll i'll explain you later that so this is 500 500 and again you can see the sales invoice unpaid will be cleared when I am refreshing this. So this both are paid. So this way you can adjust the return with new invoice. Okay. So I'll explain the other things later. So thanks. Thanks very much.